In 2004, a 50-year water master plan was completed for the water system. The plan projected decades of steady growth in population and water demand. The plan also projected an expansion of the system's service area. In 2013, a new master plan was started. It was completed in 2015. Customer collaboration was the key to success. Uh, we had a 50-year plan that only had one projection, and we knew we had to get away from that considering the economic downturn that this department was facing. The three major issues in the 2004 water master plan that were no longer relevant were the population projections, the increase in capacity of all five water treatment plants, and the reality of actual water demands were diminishing rather than increasing. The first thing we did was develop a uh, customer involvement plan, and this involved both a a wholesale customer group as well as a retail customer group. And for the very first time we wanted to make sure that at the end of the process everyone could see their fingerprints on it, everyone mm -hmm. could own it, mm -hmm. everyone could feel that it was going to provide us good direction moving forward. One of the things that we were hearing is that you spent a lot of time with your wholesale stakeholders. What about the retail stakeholders? We wanted to make sure that this was our first, first step in championing that change uh, toward more collaboration with our, all of our stakeholders. For me, it was just uh, to get faith in the process. I have a high level of confidence in the technology side of this whole process. I'm married. I've been living in Detroit for more than 50 years. I am a retiree, but I also do work as a volunteer for uh, many different um, organizations. I'm a type of person, if you tell me something, uh, I want to know more about it because I can explain to someone else when I interact uh, with the groups. I can say, well now, I went to the meeting and I understand what they were telling me. Now let me explain to you. If you go to the website, you will find the information you're looking for. Mm -hmm. I always believe knowledge is power. As project sponsor, uh, uh, with the, the additional director of, of adding the retail customers, I was intimately involved in championing that steering committee. Um, world of experience uh, because sometimes you think you know what your customers want but it's really nice to hear them voice what they want and then making sure that your your business is in line with that there's a different vision a future vision for the city of detroit setting the tone challenging the customers about the way they were thinking getting them to really feel that if they came to the table and they participated in the process that their ideas, their values, their input was going to be a part of what shaped the plan. Well really customers were involved from the start. Even before we had a plan put together, we had a customer, customer group working with DWSD to figure out what should be included, how should, we, how should we go about tackling the plan, the update of the plan, and what do we do to actually physically get it done. So customers have been involved every step of the way. DWSD can you know, be more efficient. It's something that can be referred to uh, from an ongoing basis and decisions can be made, appropriate decisions can be made long term. Moving forward, the implementation of it and staying on track is extremely important. The, uh, the flow is happening in, in both sides when we're talking about uh, Great Lakes or we're talking about the communities that they're seeing progress being made and keeping that type of pace and keeping on the timeline. 2015 Water Master Plan Goals Reduce treatment plant capacity to align with projected water demands. Reduce non-revenue water. Improve procedures to manage energy use and reduce energy cost. Customer collaboration. Prioritize water quality. Expand use of asset management to prioritize the capital improvement program. Examine new technologies and techniques. One of the most significant changes that we see across the country is the change in consumer behavior patterns mm -hmm. when, it, when it comes to using water. Uh, we have been chasing in our projections this uh, uh, downward usage mm -hmm. of water uh, across nearly all of our uh, service communities. Recognizing that, taking a water plan offline, uh, which is one of the strategies uh, that gets us right-sizing our capital investment for the customer base we serve, that was a very difficult, very difficult conversation in this process. But because people 
were involved in the process, because they came along in the thinking, because they understood the value and the need for that, and fundamentally that their reliability was not at risk when we did that. Mm -hmm. That was a huge and major outcome of this because that's a half a billion dollars of savings for the region. I think the fact that we have this plan moving forward that demonstrates our ability to provide great service, great quality at substantially improved costs moving forward, and the independence that comes with the Great Lakes Water Authority. Those two things put us in a very different position to be attractive to other communities. I'm very proud that we were able to work with DWSD uh, and we had a large amount of input into the master plan. I'm proud that DWSD realized that our input is necessary from this regional system and allowed us to be involved uh, from start to finish. Uh, these are exciting times for us to be able to put our plans and these other changes uh, together and really get some forward momentum.